88, we are your Soul School Station. It's the Morning Mayhem Show, yours truly, DJ Thump. And as I promised, I have a beautiful young lady, man, that stopped through here. And I know y'all probably thinking I'm going to talk about Janet Jackson, but no, she's just as beautiful, the lovely Miss Malaysia Pargo. Good morning to you, sweetie. Good morning. How are you? Now you got, I know it's early in the morning, but you got to say it with your chest. You got to speak up, baby. Oh, uh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, uh, man, where are you from? I'm from Compton, California. My homegirl, Hub City, man. Compton, California, man. Welcome to uh, Vegas. Welcome to Power 88. And, uh, of course, so many questions, man, about, you know, you, about the hit show. But let's get into you. Let's get in. How do you get on a show like Basketball Wives? Um, to get on a show like Basketball Wives, I can only speak for myself. And um, I was told that you had to have a basketball NBA player spouse. So my spouse plays for the Charlotte Bobcats, and um, that's how I got on the show. Now the other girls, I'm really not sure. Well, again, we, we're not <laughs> even going to talk about them because it is about you. We know how you got on. You yeah, mean, and it so wasn't I just can't your speak beauty. for myself. I can't. I'm not going to speak for the other. Ladies. Well, it wasn't just your booty. It's your beauty. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what's up, man. So, what are some of your hidden talents, man? What are, what are some things you could do besides uh, be a basketball wife? Oh, my God. I call myself the jack of all trades. I can do everything. I, anything that I put my mind to, I do it, and I do it with pride. And, um, yeah, some of my favorite things would probably be to cook, clean, be with my kids. I, I like to do it all myself. Wow. You said be with your kids. It's hard to believe that you have children. Do you have a workout uh program you do I mean again you're, you're beautiful how, how do you keep your your beauty with 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 children actually after I had the twins like I adapted to hiking so like I go to Vernon at least twice a week um, and I run on the beach I live by the water so I love water um, I'm always running on the beach in the sand you know just doing my little squat challenge and stuff like that I use things around the house to get myself in order so a lot of folks think that reality TV is acting and this and that I'm not even gonna ask that I want to ask you this would you like to do some acting? Actually, I am. I'm working on um, a few project, um, projects right now. So I'm looking forward to one day being on the big screen, doing a movie or two, um, or three or four. Yeah. Or five or six or yeah. whatever. Oh, That's gosh. beautiful. So, so I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, out of anyone, male or female, who would you like to act with? I'm about to take you guys back, but I would love to work with Anthony Hopkins. Wow. Um, he is like my favorite actor of all times. So, yes, seeing myself alongside Anthony Hopkins, I will probably faint, die, and come back to life and scream again. Wow. You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So let's talk about your baby. Let's talk about, I'm not talking about your children. Let's talk about your baby. You have this, uh, this line that's going on. Uh, you want to talk about it? My line is called Three Beats. It's at Jason and Beverly Hills in Los Angeles. Actually, it's in the Cosmopolitan Hotel here in Las Vegas. So, wow, okay. Um, if you guys want to check out Three Beats, I have um, kids and women. I also have um, one thing for men. It's an uh, anti-cheating ring. You know what? <laughs> you, you, well, you, you, you already knew I was going to talk about that. Anti-cheating ring. What, what finger did that go on? Um, the anti-cheating ring goes on your wedding finger, yes. Um, put it on the wedding finger because we will know if you don't. And um, <laughs> it's basically a wedding band with inscriptions inside. So when you take it off, you'll have an imprint of taking either your wife's um, being like initials or married or single, whatever it is that you want to have inside. And it's just not for men, it's for women as well. My ex wife tried to give me one of those, but it was called a tattoo. She wanted me to tattoo a ring on my finger. <laughs> that wasn't going to work. I mean, well, see, this, will, this way you don't have to tattoo it. It'll be on your finger, and then it'll wear off after a while too. But you know, mine's better. Right, right. So let's let's uh, let's do this. And what are some of the hobbies? What are some of your hobbies other than you said hiking? I think that's your workout plan. What are some of your hobbies? Oh gosh, if I tell you what my hobbies are, you guys are not gonna think that I'm cool anymore. Um, wait, you probably don't think I'm cool anyways. But I like to rollerblade. I'm such a freak. I love to rollerblade. It's so much fun I'm, um, along the coast. I like to do activities with my kids, like playing the sand, build castles, and stuff like that. Play in the backyard, jump on the trampoline, like quirky stuff. I like to have fun. Wow, I'm not gonna say those are white things. <laughs> I'm just gonna say those are things that uh, you know people here on the west side just don't do. I mean, we don't jump on no trampolines. I've oh, not man. seen a trampoline. Okay, well, I like to crip walk too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> when y'all be Compton, I'm just saying, Hub City, watch out. So, so 
So uh, talk a little bit more about, about your line. I mean, that's your baby. Three Beats, right? Yes, Three Beats is my baby. Everything that I um, produce is like something that has to do with my family. Um, my signature piece is, um, is a strawberry, and um, it's filled with rubies. And it's for my, my grandmother. Her name was Ruby, and she wow. loves strawberries. So I just do little quirky things like that. Um, we already know that I like to do white people things, so you say. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so I just, like, I really took pride in, like, my, my jewelry line. I love diamonds and it's of the best qualities and I consider my pieces to be like an heirloom sake so if you it's definitely it's an investment so once you purchase this it's, it'll be something you'll have forever now is it affordable it's yeah very affordable it's affordable All right, I'm, I'm, I mean affordable is like whatever you think is important so if you think it's important and you want to have something to pass down to your child your children and your kids kids then this is definitely something you will want to buy because it's of the best quality well I'm an NBA player too I just ball on a budget so I'm just asking you know, uh, <laughs> is yeah, it it's affordable <laughs> it's affordable for balling on the budget it is okay that's yeah. what's up so where can they find this uh, these three beats they can find um, three beats if you're in Las Vegas, you can find it in the Cosmopolitan Hotel at the Jasons of Beverly Hills. And mm -hmm. if you're in Los Angeles, at the Beverly Wilshire and Jason of Beverly Hills. Now, if you're not in those two locations, uh, can uh, they order it online you, or? You can definitely call and make an order in at Jason of Beverly Hills um, at any of the stores right now. And um, the website is coming soon. Okay, that's what's up. I understand you're a daddy's girl. I am. I am a daddy's girl to the heart. Wow, so so name me some of your because we don't have role models anymore. I, you know, I used to really love you know, I don't know, uh, uh, Malcolm X or you know Martin Luther King or my mom or my dad. Who are some of your role models? Oh my gosh, my my role models kind of like go. It's like all across the board, and I'm gonna start foremost with my father. Um, he's definitely a strong figure in my life. He taught me what I'm supposed to deserve, who I'm supposed to be, how I'm supposed to be treated, like, and he's not even, he didn't just teach me, he showed me this is what you're supposed to do. He's been married for almost 20 years. Wow, that wife. deserves an applause. Yeah, he's an amazing guy. He shows me, like, hard work and ethic and, you know, you don't wait around for someone to give it to you. You go out and you get it yourself, like, that's, that's my father. My Message. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> and then my mom, she's like a strong woman. She overcame a whole lot of things. Um, and she just showed me strength. And then, of course, God, like I should have said that first, but God is like my complete role model because he shows me how to love myself so I don't have to go hate others. So that works out for me. And then um, when you look at people like public figures, like I admire um, Beyonce and Jay-Z for being a strong black couple mm. um, and no matter what people say or try to get in their business they always make sure that they keep it private and quiet and I love that. Um, Oprah, like she's a strong black woman and she's kind of like she's you know doing her thing and no right. matter what people say she still remains herself. She's gonna keep it moving, that's old she man, she's gonna keep that's like, oxygen oh, you're herself. Talking about me? <laughs> Lip in my hair and I love that. So just I can go on and on about how proud I am about um, of my black sisters and brothers and other people, but I'm going to just keep it right there. That's what's up. So it's quite obvious that you are a strong black woman. Um, you, you hold your own. Uh, you know, talking to you off the air, man, you are just remarkable. You're incredible. Yes. So um, what are some things that can complement you, and then what are some things that can complicate you? And I mean men. Oh, okay. If you're speaking about a man, what can, I'm going to say complicate first. Complicating me will probably be getting in my way, not a, not letting me soar, not letting me be at my best potential because I feel like God put us all here for a purpose. And if you're in my way to, you know, to like for me to do what I need to accomplish in life, then I don't like that. Don't hinder me. Um, and compliment me will be a strong man that can ride beside me, beside, behind me, and in front of me. Like will have my back to the fullest, be my biggest cheerleader because I will be the same for him. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. If you're just tuning in, I am talking to a very, very beautiful, talented, and gifted young lady, man. She goes by the name of Malaysia Pargo. And, of course, if you're like, wait, wait, I know that name. Of course, the hit reality TV show Basketball Wives. So um, I'm going to end with this. I'm going to end with this. What are some of, uh, uh, like, like your jewelry line. Let's go back to your jewelry line. Your jewelry line. What inspires you? said your grandmother, but mm -hmm. what else kind of inspires you? Or, or do you have any other... Uh, persons that give you ideas on how to to uh, create these these different styles of jewelry um pretty much no i pretty much do it all myself and um 
you know, of course, like my kids inspire me. So that came behind the kids line. Um, my husband did sit down one time with me and help me like sketch out the basketball life pendant. So I have like a lot of like different help, you know, with my family and my friends. And then of course, Jason of Beverly Hills, he um, is one of my biggest cheerleaders. He's my mentor um, and the whole jewelry diamond thing and he also like shows me the way like what's good what's not good what will sell what won't um and he's just a fly guy so jason that's jason. what's up that's what's <laughs> up so uh give your information man how can folks get in touch with you you have an instagram or twitter G um, give your give your information you can find me on malaysia pargo on twitter and style and grace one on instagram that's what's up, ladies nice comments, and gentlemen. Nice positive vibes only, please. Thank you. Wait, say that again? Nice comments, positive vibes only. Thank you. Man, we ain't got ain't no time for that, man. <laughs> Come here with them haterations, man. Them your motivators. Trust and hey, believe that, man. So, again, I want to say congratulations to you with all your success. And I'm so proud of you, man. I'm showing, yeah. um, you know, women how to be real women. And, you know, doing your thing, being self-sufficient, you know, and being a compliment to yourself, man. So, I take, you know, my hat off and an applaud to you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Miss Malaysia Pargo on the Morning Mayhem Show. Is there anything you want to do? You want to get some last minute shout outs? You want, you know, anything we forgot you want to mention or something you want people to know about you? Um, shout out to my boo-boos that's in the car. <laughs> for sure, because they out there like, man, it's cold out here. You and then the warmth and the, you know, but that's all good, man. So once again, thank you for stopping through, man. I want to thank Halicia, man. She always hooks me up, man, with, you know, all kind of artists coming through. So Halicia, I love you, baby. Good, good job. And uh, once again, Hal Malaysia Pargo in the building. And boom. Yay! Yay!